boom, it's new season time. And this time it's Daredevil. Everyone thought it was gonna be She-Hulk, but guess what? Daredevil makes his appearance. Um, Heroes for Hire is the new season, and I'm stoked about it, it looks awesome. Now, if you just logged in, just a little warning, there's a mystery box and there's some gold that they promised back to us that kind of glitched out. It seems like they're having a lot of issues on the back end of things. Don't sweat it, I'm sure it's coming. Just enjoy this new season. But you can get Daredevil right now if you get the premium pass. I'm gonna show you in just a second here how much you're actually getting out of the premium if you choose to buy it. Really the most valuable thing guys to, to, to recognize here is you get the new card. That's what matters, okay? What is the new card? So we got Daredevil. So he's a two cost, two power, not too crazy, but his ability is on turn five, you get to see your opponent's plays before you make your own, okay? So I got five stars on here. I, I don't know if it's a five star card, but that ability is insane. Um, I have seen this been, been played. I, I don't own it yet. I haven't bought the season pass yet. It's only been out for a short time here, um, but I have seen it played. And what happens is the screen goes all red and uh, your opponent has their full turn timer to take their turn, just like normal. And they're gonna play and then you take your full turn. So in terms of like this game being very quick and um, you know, that the same time turns, I forget what the, ter the term for that is, simultaneous turns, um, that doesn't really happen with this card. He kind of makes it uh, sequential turns and you always get the benefit of knowing what your opponent has played and you can counter it. And to top it all off, it's a setup. It's not the next turn or it's not the current turn, it's turn five very specifically. So what this means is that Dare Daredevil is a dead card on six. Totally dead, there's no point. It only happens on turn five. And your opponent can kind of predict that because if, you're, if you play Daredevil too soon, they're gonna know on turn five, you're gonna be able to see their play, right? So if they just like play a big minion, then that's not too big of a deal. But what, what if you have Shang-Chi in your head? right? Then you like guarantee destroy it. And let's think about this. What if I'm winning, but I've played Daredevil? Well, all of a sudden the turns are all messed up because normally if you're winning, you're the one who reveals first, but because Daredevil is in play, I get to see what you play first. And then I get to react despite me winning the board at currently. Very interesting. I'm surprised this even exists in the game, the way it's built. I, I can't wait to play it. It looks really fun. There's no like uh, on reveal or discard or destroy synergy with this card. I think it's just a setup. It's just a really good setup card. Um, so that's Daredevil and then he's got a really cool variant here. Um, and then, I, okay, let's talk about the season pass because that's the biggest thing, right? Should you buy premium? So I've laid it out here, guys. 2,500 credits if you get premium, 2,100 credits if you get free. If you're just after credits and rank, um, accelerating your collection road, you're not gonna get a huge benefit from getting the season pass. That's just that's just facts, okay? You do get a huge gold boost. So I guess if you use the gold towards the credits, then you would have quite an advantage. But I think most people are holding out to see what they're gonna do in place of the Nexus events. And me personally, I'm just buying variants because I love the card art. I'm a sucker for it, okay? So you do get 1200 gold compared to 300. And then the biggest thing that you actually get in the premium, besides the new card, that is the biggest thing, the other biggest thing is boosters. And everybody hates boosters. So why are they putting boosters as a reward in the premium pass? Well, it's because you have to get the new card. That's the only reason you're buying the pass, realistically. So they fill it in with a bunch of boosters to make you feel like you're getting a lot of extra re rewards when really boosters are a pretty dead currency. And to top it all off, I haven't specified here, but these boosters are card specific. Most of the premium ones specifically tied to Daredevil, Punisher, and Misty Knight. If you already maxed out your Misty Knight and Punisher, you're getting some Daredevil boosters, which you're probably probably already playing Daredevil. So there's just a lack of value there. Uh, and then you also get a random variant, but you also get a free random variant. So you would get two if you're the premium and you get that cool card back, the Punisher one. That's actually really sick. That tempts me. Um, outside of that, you also get the uh, two alternatives, the variants, as well as the three portraits avatars. If, you, if you're into that, then that's cool. Um, I do like the Punisher variant, that's really cool. The Missing Night one's cool, but you don't really play her all that much, so it's hard, to, it's hard to get excited about it. If you're just going free, then you do get this Daredevil card back, and it's sick, so that's awesome. I'm glad they chose that one to be the free one. And then you get uh, 2,100 credits, 300 gold, 65 boosters, and one random variant, and then you're on to your season caches. So anyways, that's the premium pass. Just wanted to update you guys quickly. I'm hopefully gonna 
find a way to get Daredevil soon and then I'll make a video about them. So stay tuned. I have some card ratings, uh, reviews coming out, and then hopefully there's a patch. They did hint at one, so there should be a patch soon. So I'll keep you guys posted, okay? All right. Thanks for watching.